Hello everyone. Hello and welcome to InstaForex Economic News Channel. I'm Kate Nidatina. And I'm Anna Kasatkina. You are watching a combined review of the stock and currency markets for the last week. So what's the news from the currency market? The rate of the American dollar hit a one month high versus its European counterpart. And what was the reason for the greenbacks rally? The US currency strengthened as Bernanke called for maintaining stimulus at a conference in Philadelphia. As Mr. Bernanke said, the US economy would have poked down in recession unless the Fed had started buying bonds and brought the rates close to zero. In January this year, the Federal Reserve pulled back its program by $10 billion. However, it's not planning to hike the rates in the short run. It should be said that quantitative easing tends to put downward pressure upon the dollar. The euro plunged to 1.3583 from 1.3668. This was the first time since December 4th the euro sank below 1.36. The European Central Bank is having a meeting this week, so investors are anticipating Mario Draghi's comments on the single currency rate and long-term refinancing operations. In its turn, the ICE US dollar index measuring the greenback's value against the basket of six majors moved to 80.882 from 80.555 locked on Thursday. Meanwhile, the dollar cost 104 yen 77 sen versus 104 yen 73 sen on Thursday. As analysts have it, the yen depreciated against the US dollar as it got back in demand as a safe haven. And that was all about the latest Forex trends. Thank you for the retrospective analysis of the Forex market, Kate. You're welcome, but uh, let's uh, pass to the US stock market, which news set the tone for stocks last week. The first week of the new year turned out to be rather calm. This uh, must be explained by the speech of Ben Bernanke and the idle Christmas time. Exactly. These two factors were the reasons why the indices closed in the red on Friday. Investor sentiment was also affected by the statistics on the US car sales for December. This data is believed to be a barometer of consumer confidence. So let's start with Ford Motor, the largest car manufacturer in the United States. On Friday, the giant said that the sales grew by 2% to 218,058 units. The sales had been expected to rise by 5.9%. Ahead of the release, the shares of the company were declining in price, but the publication pushed them up. As a result, they closed with a 0.5% gain. Chrysler Group reported U.S. sales of 161,007 units, up by 5.7 percent compared to December of 2012. This result fell short of the forecast. Another automobile colossus, General Motors, saw its stock lose 3.4 percent of the value. It was caused by the news that the U.S. sales shrank by 6.3 percent as compared to the previous year and constituted 230,100. Economists had predicted an increase of 0.8 percent. Anna, thank you for insight into the American stock market. You're welcome. So, this was a weekly review of the currency and stock markets prepared by InstaForex. And presented to you by me, Anna Kasatkina. And me, Kate Nidachina. Have a nice day and goodbye. See you.